This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, happy Saturday morning. I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with another impromptu video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cheese alert on tonight's game. Um, I was uh, monitoring this very closely over the past couple of days, but I wanted to make sure uh, and wait to see uh, as the bets trickle in uh, to see what the, where this line movement uh, was going to end up. For those of you who don't know uh, what a cheese alert is, it is when uh, Vegas starts doing things with the uh, spread or betting lines that don't make sense, okay? Uh, for those of you who are new to this, uh, new to what, a, what, what all of this means, uh, basically in an ideal world, Vegas would get 50% on one side and 50% on the other side, okay? And they, they get what they call a VIG, okay, in the middle. And basically what that is is if, you know, you make a, a, a dollar bet on something, you don't quite get the whole dollar back. Depending on, you know, what you what the odds are on the bet you're taking, uh, you might get 85 cent to a dollar or 95 cent to a dollar, you know, somewhere in those, those general areas, okay? Uh, so if Vegas can get 50-50 on both sides, then that means and then they're going to collect that, that uh, the, the VIG, what's in the middle, the 10 or 15 cent per bet or per dollar, okay, that you bet, and they keep that and they win. So that way they don't have exposure. So what Vegas typically does is if they start to get ex a lot of exposure on one side of the line, they'll move that line. So that's what, that's what manipulates that line movement. You'll start to see uh, lines move uh, and, and, and things like that. So, for example, if you get a bunch of money on one side of the, the coin and, it, and they're favored by five, you'll see that line go up another point or two. So they might go from being favored by five to being favored by six or seven or whatnot, and so on and so forth, okay? We have another situation. Now, we've called two cheese alerts in this series, unfortunately, and been wrong twice. Called cheese alerts in game one and two, and was wrong on both of those, but those are the first times uh, in the history of this channel that we've called them and been wrong. So um, we, we stick with our principles, and we stick with what we, what we know, and we stick with what we see. Uh, and th these cheese alerts hit with, with a pretty high regularity. Um, and in this particular contest, this is what I'm seeing. So as you can see here, guys, 79% of the money, if you follow the, map, the mouse, is on the Phoenix Suns. Now, as far as the bets are concerned, that's not really a, that, that big of a deal. It's, it's really all about the money part, okay? So you may have you know, a situation where, you know, 78% of the bets are on one team and 22% of the bets on the other, but then the money is more equitable, right? And that's what Vegas Vegas looks at as well. So what they should be doing, okay, in a situation like this is this line should be uh, expanding out, okay? This line opened up at uh, four, uh, and it's pretty much stayed there, uh, and it's, it's fluctuated between three and a half and four and it really hasn't gone up. So uh, when you look at this right here, this right here is an indicator that uh, Vegas should be expanding this line out, okay? It should be five, five and a half, or six to try to invite people to put more money on the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, Vegas isn't doing that, and that's highly, highly unusual activity. Uh, I think something is amiss, something is up. Uh, because this line should be going up and it shouldn't be staying the same. And it looks like that the money on the Phoenix Suns have just has just been expanding and expanding and expanding over these past several days uh, here in between the finals, game four and game five. Uh, the money has just been increasingly being put on the Phoenix Suns. So when you look at this right here, this doesn't make this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We were already on the Milwaukee Bucks anyway. Uh, this right here, may, in my opinion, strengthens that position. Uh, don't take the cheese. Do not take the Phoenix Suns tonight. Uh, they are not going to cover the four points. Uh, they're, they're, I don't think they're going to win the game, but they're certainly not going to cover the four. I can, I can just tell you that for sure uh, when I look at this right here uh, because Vegas has some major league exposure here. Uh, Vegas got burned in games one and two. Uh, Vegas doesn't make, a, make it a habit to get burned. I'm telling you right now, this right here is not a, not a good sign for the Phoenix, Phoenix faithful. I think Phoenix is going to end up 
uh, losing this basketball game tonight and certainly not covering. And I think Vegas has a strong in indication of that as well, which is why they're not expanding the line. They're begging you to take the Phoenix Suns in this case because there makes no sense for them not to go ahead and expand this line. So I just wanted to show you this, guys. This is the, one of the tools that I use, one of many tools that I use to monitor these sorts of things. I've called the cheese alerts in the past, and I haven't really uh, shown you guys what I'm looking at. So I, I thought I felt compelled this morning to go ahead and show you so you can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. So as you can see, 79% of the money on the Phoenix Suns, the line ain't moving, something's up. I don't know what it is, but something ain't, something isn't right. Just like I've said in previous cheese alerts, guys, Vegas, you have to understand. They, under, they know and understand more than what I know. They know and understand more than what everybody knows. They have insiders on these teams. They, they understand if somebody's got an issue in the locker room. They understand if there's a situation where somebody's sick or ill or somebody's injured and it's not public knowledge. They understand all of these things, and it allows them to be able to manipulate the public and manipulate these lines and, and manipulate uh, things to the point to where they can, uh, you know, have the advantage and make the money. It's the reason why they build all those casino, big old casinos out there. It's it's not because they uh, the public wins. So, just you know, for those of you who are going to take the Suns, I definitely would advise it very strongly against that. Uh, and if you're a Suns fan and you don't want to bet against the Suns, I get that. Don't bet against the Suns, but don't take this because you're going to end up losing your money. So. With all that being said, guys, Milwaukee will cover this. I believe Milwaukee will win this game. It is a cheese alert. Don't take the cheese. Thanks, guys, as always. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'll have plenty of them. Appreciate all the support and uh, looking forward to tonight's game. Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. So uh, we're going to keep on keeping on, and we're going to keep on getting you paid while you watch sports. You guys have a wonderful and great Saturday. Talk to you soon.